Hey everyone, Dominic Esposito, your drill instructor, and welcome to another clinic. Hey, listen up gang, I want to tell you if you're looking for pool glasses, you gotta get a hold of my friend Gordon Harrison, Dr. Harrison. You go right on the webpage, you look down the side, you'll see a picture of me with some glasses on, you click on them, that's how you get it. I know several of you have been asking, and of course when I gotta play some serious pool, I really have to have these so I don't have frame obstructions and things like that. And you can make them with um, your whole person progressive lenses, scratch resistant, all the good stuff. And Dr. Harrison will take good care of them. Just make sure you tell them the drill instructor referred you, okay? And to all the rest of you fans and friends and dealers, thank you so much for the care and attention you give to everyone else. Okay, so I'm gonna teach you something today that's kind of pretty good. We're gonna talk about when your cue ball gets locked up, it gets hooked up, it gets jammed up, and you gotta figure out what to do. Let me show you a couple of escapes that I think you're gonna enjoy. Okay, this first lockup, getting the cue ball hooked up in the point here, you can't seem to get out of it. You've got to get to this 15 ball, and then after the 15 ball, I think you're going to be probably getting on the 8 ball or whatever it may be. This is from my friend George out in California. Hey, buddy. And uh, George is uh, sending in uh, some pictures and questions about how do you hit this, Sarge? Okay, there's a few ways you can actually hit this, but let's just make sure we cover them. If the cue ball's here, and technically this is going to be the position of where this ball would be if you're going to have some angle in and angle out, you could simply count one, two, two and a half. Half a two and a half is one and a quarter. So obviously, if you were going to shoot this cue ball at one and a quarter diamonds, which would be basically right here on the other side of the table, right there, that is going to be the simple angle in, angle out, and you should be able to hit that with no trouble. You certainly, if you hit it hard enough, if you have to call the shot, call the 15 in the corner pocket. Might be a little bit too difficult to cut it and cut it in. It's such a thin cut, but it certainly can be done. Now, from this position here, you count how many diamonds away you are. One, two, technically here's three, here's two and a half, but if you'll remember when you come to the top of the table here, this starts at one, then two, three, four, five. Five is always the center. So we'll aim at number three with one tip of English. There it is, comes right back, catches it. Okay, it didn't make it, but it was certainly a pretty decent hit and it was actually pretty close. Now one way to show you this a little bit more uh, in detail. So from any position, when you're on this side, you count from where the cue ball is, one, two, three, four, five. You're going to aim at one, two, three, four, five. You're going to add one tip of English to this, of course, and just go ahead and shoot, and that's going to go ahead and make that perfect for you, okay? So that's the two plus two. So if you're jammed in the pocket, if you're jammed in a pocket like that, you could just simply count. Let's say you only had to come to here. One, it's one diamond away. From here, you shoot. You can't shoot at one, but just shoot off the point of one, add a half a tip more English. Here's another one you might not have been aware of. Let's say this cue ball is hooked up here and you gotta get to this pocket. So what you wanna do in this case is go to one, two. Now this is a memory shot, okay? If you're gonna use two tips of bottom with two tips to the outside, what you need to know is if you shoot at this first diamond, it's going to come back to this pocket. If you shoot at the second diamond, it's going to come straight across. If you shoot at this third diamond, it's only going to come up one diamond. So when you're jammed in here like this, you're going to hit it with two tips of bottom, two tips outside. You're going to hit it with a five-speed shot stroke, and that should go right ahead and be able to make that. As I said, this one comes to this pocket. The center comes to the center, the first diamond comes right back. Now here's another one you can do. If the cue ball gets hooked up in here, okay, now remember you could cut across. If you shoot right into the center of the ball, right exactly at the point, it's going to travel down, but that's a pretty long way to go. You could brush this anywhere and it could create a problem. Naturally, if you're eight diamonds, so you just shoot at the diamond number four, but look, from the angle you're shooting at, you're really going to hit just the top of the cushion here. Something's obstructing the angle. Shoot at diamond number right here, number five. The same two tips at bottom with two tips outside. Use the same five-speed shot stroke. Watch how this works. Jacked up. Two tips down, two tips outside. Here we go. 
and that should be pretty straight. If, if you're jammed up here, or maybe you're jammed up here, and you still need to come straight across, if, if the same way here you'd shoot at two diamonds that come straight across, if you were here and you shot at one, two, right here, two diamonds, it's going to come straight across. These do work as you're walking down, they can. Let's say you're jammed in this point right here, and you're trying to run the quick three rails. Remember this one here? So if you're jammed on this point, you've got to make this ball here. Again, you can shoot it right into the point, exactly center ball, shoots dead at the point, the ball's going to go across. But the other thing you can also do here is, again, same angle in, angle out. But if there's an obstruction and you don't see the path open, well, one of the other things you can do from here is just go ahead and shoot straight into this first diamond. Right here, aim at the first diamond. Yes, you're going to hit the shim. It's, it's bumped in there. So when you jack up 30 degrees, shoot at that diamond, watch this. That ball's just going to come naturally straight out. Yeah, right, it's going to come right up there for that. That's another way to basically play that, and most of the time it's going to work. I know sometimes you could shoot at the points. That's kind of hit and miss, okay? You really need to mess with that. Okay, like the first shot where we were jammed up here, maybe you could shoot into this point and try to get the ball to come back across. Uh, you could shoot into this one here and get it to come up this way. You could actually shoot into this point and get the ball to come across. Those you probably want to work on. They're a little more razzle-dazzle and more chancy, but not too likely you're going to get a really, you know, one out of ten. I, I don't know if I would take that kind of a flyer. And then you can always go back and remember, if you want to see the Mass A, on DITV, I teach you all the drills for length of table, width of table, all the formulas for mass A. Exactly, I created those years ago. If you only have to mass A a half a diamond or one full diamond, you need to get around half the length of the table, the full length of the table. Each of these are all covered in detail for you exactly how to work with getting out of uh, any difficult situation. This is in the advanced shots program and every bit of that is covered for you on DITV plus a lot of other information about really complex shots, which I cover in detail. Join DITV, take advantage of it, and all the rest of you, thanks a lot for your orders, for the Moab, for the Optimus. Harold and I want to thank you so much. They, honestly, we're just all we can do to keep up with them. And yes, that does say zero deflection performance tapering. That's exactly what happens on our Optimus shaft. It is not like any other carbon fiber shaft in the industry. This is exactly the same as my cap shaft, so that it is designed when you apply up to three tips of English in any direction on the cue ball, the deflection of the cue ball is directly back at center when you are on the center seven axis of the cue ball. You really need to check that out. You can watch the videos that are on the Prime Custom Cues website and you're gonna get a chance to really see the big difference. Plus, they feel amazing. Okay, gang, God bless you. Aim straight, shoot straight, split the pockets. That's the drill instructor way. I'll see you next time.